Hi everyone and welcome to the Moodle Refresher. My name is Tammy Bennett and I'm the Reproductive Health Statewide Nurse Consultant. Today I wanted to give a couple reminders about different websites. Moodle is a web-based platform so you can access it from any computer using this website address. The other thing is Moodle, if you are not understanding how to complete modules, how to log in, how to view your dashboard, I would encourage you to go to YouTube and watch this video. It's all about how to do Moodle and how to complete your modules. For any regional leadership staff or nursing supervisors, clerical supervisors, if you get a new uh, staff person in, then you can use this uh, website to uh, let us know if they need Moodle access and if they need REDCap access. All right, for completion requirements in Moodle, after each training, recordings will be uploaded to Moodle. As we upload new things into Moodle, we will send you an email to your inbox stating that blank new training has been added. Please go and attest that you have completed. You will have two weeks to complete this module. If you attended live, just go in and mark the checkbox that you attended this live and you don't have to watch the recording. However, for whatever reason you were not here live, you did not get an opportunity to participate, then go in, watch the video, um, and mark the checkbox for attestation that you watched it and you understand um, what was presented. If for whatever reason you do not understand what was presented, please go to your supervisor for clarification before you check the checkbox. So every month we're going to be pulling incomplete data and we're going to change this up a little bit. What we used to do was put all of the incomplete data into a roster and mail it out to the regional leadership teams. But we found that if I can send you individual emails for those modules that you've not completed, you might have just missed one checkbox, or you may have uploaded the file but not put the checkbox. So if you do get that email, please go into the module listed and make sure that all the checkbox are complete. If, um, if you don't do that within the next few days, then your name will go to the regional leadership teams and we're going to ask that those regional leadership teams help us with obtaining compliance from all of the participants on the required modules. There are now some non-Title 10 modules added to Moodle, and those involve the EHR, Clerical, Clinical, Standard Operating Procedures. There is a video resource library, Telemedicine Policy and Procedures, along with if you are a Title 10 staff, you will see those on your dashboard as well. So looking at all of these other modules, I have also listed who is supposed to be enrolled in each of those. If for whatever reason you are, let's say, um, a clerical person, but somehow you got enrolled into the clinical, please let me know so that I can fix that so that you have what you need. Again, this is saying if there's a module that doesn't apply to your role, please let me know. And to let me know, you can email me and along with this following information, and then I'll research and provide further guidance. 